Load panels are available under the workstation structure in the category Load Panels. Several types of panel are available. We have the type that distributes the load to the nodes of the panel, the type which transfers the load to the edges of the panel, the exterior edges, and we have the type which distributes the load to the 1D members under the panel and to the edges. In this type, uh, and in the other ones as well, we have several parameters which we can play with. For example, the load transfer direction. We can set it to the X or Y local axis of the uh, load panel or to all directions. We can play with the maximal angle for transfer. This could be useful when you want to load the bracings as well. In that case, you could increase the maximal angle and then the bracings will be found as well uh, for the load transfer. You can set a maximal eccentricity of the members so that the members in that range are found for the load transfer. And we can choose the load transfer method. By default, we are using the tributary area, which is using simple geometrical uh, formulas to calculate the load. Or you can do it more accurate with one of the finite element methods. If we confirm, we can draw the panel in the graphical window by working with coordinates or by clicking on the snapping points. And if we close the panel, we can continue with the second one or we can use the escape button to confirm and stop the command. Now the panel is still selected and we can change the properties, the property panel, or we can go to the actions and there we can update the selection or generate the loads in case that loads are defined. Let's do that first. We go to the workstation loads, to the category surface loads, and we can apply a surface load or a free surface load. For free surface loads, I can refer to other videos if you are interested in that. Let's try a normal surface load with a certain value. And he automatically detects this load panel since there are no other load panels or 2D members in this project. Otherwise, we need to select the member where we want to apply the load on. And if we now select the load panel, we can go to the actions and now we can generate the loads on it. This is the result for the tributary area method. So we see clearly double the load on the middle beams and half the load on the edge beams, which is normal. If we would change the method to one of the accurate types and generate the loads, you will see that the distribution is not perfectly uniform anymore due to the stiffness of the members underneath. The mesh size will also have an influence because the load panel will have a certain mesh. And you can change this via tools, calculation and mesh, and then the mesh settings. And under the advanced settings, you can find the average size of a panel element. So if we should, if we would increase it in this case, and we generate the loads again, you see that now the accuracy is a bit less but in this case, probably it's still enough. If you would change the load direction and generate the loads, you will see that we load them or transfer the loads in the other direction. Let's take the X direction again, and then we can play with the selection. So we can choose the user selection instead of the auto selection. And then underneath the actions, we have update edge beam selection. And now with the control button pressed in, we could deselect some of the elements. We confirm with escape. And if we now generate the loads, you will see that those elements that we excluded are not loaded anymore. If we right click in the graphical window, we can ask for the view settings of all entities. And in the tab of the loads, we can also visualize the original plus the generated loads. 
So that could be practical when you want to quickly change the original load uh, instead of deleting one of the generated loads. What we could do as well is adding an opening in a load panel. So if we go back to the structure workstation and to the load panels, we have here an opening on the panel. And if I draw an opening like this, and now if we generate the loads, we will see that it has an influence of the values here. The values become smaller. Then I can show you as well the other two types. So we have the load to the nodes. I will draw a panel, for example, here. And load to the edges. Which we can show there. And if we load these as well, let's copy the load that we have already. We can right click and copy this additional data to the other two panels. And then if we select it and we generate the loads, we can clearly see that now those nodes in the corner are loaded for the other panel that we have the two edges in that direction loaded. So these are the basic types of load panels which you can use in your projects.